Hey you guys, this is Isaac. How are you all doing today? Sorry I missed you guys yesterday, but I needed some well needed rest, so I slept most of the day. Um, and also, I have been meeting with different people in hopes to jumpstart my little foundation that I've been working on. So, but we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later. Today, I want to talk about what I said we were going to talk about on Monday, but I never did post a video. I never did do the video. I was just, uh, like I say, I was tired beyond reason. So, um, hold on. I'm trying to pull up my notes here. I thought I had everything prepared to do this video, but no, I do not. So, I am pulling up my notes right now. All right, there they are. So, first, let's get into our first portion of the video about getting the facts. Um, on Monday, we were talking about um, HIV treatment for HIV. Um, and there are many, many different treatments. Um, there are about approximately about 30 drugs that have been approved by the FDA now, and there are more under development. But back in 1987, there was a drug called AZT, which became the first approved treatment for the HIV disease. Um, these new drugs, uh, the new 30 drugs or more that they have now, that they are now producing, are very effective. Um, they are, you're, they, some people call them the cocktail. I call them antiretrovirals. Some call by the name of uh, HART, which basically says highly active antiretroviral therapy. Um, there are currently five different classes of those HIV drugs. Sorry, that's the phone ringing. Each class of drug attacks the virus at different points in the life cycle of the HIV virus. So generally, for those of you that are taking medicine, or if you know someone that's taking medicine and you're too afraid to ask about the medicine, you can get the information from me. <laughs> you can watch the video and get the information from me. Generally, they're taking about three. Since there are so many different ones, um, I'm not going to really talk about all of them. I'm really going to talk about the ones that I am taking. Um, the medication that I am taking goes by the name of Stribild. This is what it is. I don't know if you guys can really see that in the camera, but this is what it is, Stribild. Um, Stribild is one of the fairly new ones. Um, I think it's been on the market for about two to three years now, maybe about three years now. It's one of the fairly new ones. Um, it's one of the drugs they will call the, the, the cocktail, and it's three different drugs from two different classes. In this particular, um, in this particular drug, the Stribal, it is a combination of. Please forgive me because I'm going to try to pronounce these words as best as possible. But it is a combination of Elita Gravier, Cobastat, Tenafir, and Intrisa. And tricibin. I hope I pronounced those correctly. Look down in the bottom, you can see the correct spelling of them when I, you know, type up everything else in the bottom of the description. But it's I've been doing pretty good on it. Um, since I've been taking it, I noticed a significant change. Is one of the symptoms that I did have were these spots that were uh, coming up. They're like deep black spots on my hand and they sort of felt like warts almost um and I could also sort of see them on my arm and since I've been taking the medicine a lot of that stuff has been clearing up which in my opinion is a good thing that's telling me that things are going well that the medicine is working um it's just like any other just like taking any other medicine when you start them they you get weird side effects i'm not going to tell you the side effects of the ones that i was taking because you know just like most it's like an antibiotic and you get that those antibiotic side effects so you know with that being said i'm doing pretty well taking these medicines um the important thing to remember, though, you have to take your medicines every day, usually around the same time or in the same time frame. 
And you know, you just have to treat it as if it was taking any other medical regimen. Um, a couple of other ones that uh, people probably take uh, that you know you may have heard of uh, Truvada. I think I just seen a commercial about that today. Um, Truvada is another one of those medicines that they use uh, for the pre-EP, the pre-elective exposure medicine. I think this. I think I just said that right. Um, for that, me let me go make sure. Yeah, pre-exposure prolaxis. Um, that's one of the medicines that they use for that. And we're going to talk about that on another day. Uh, we'll probably talk about that topic for, uh, you know, today. We'll probably talk about that topic today. And when I post the second video, this video I'm posting is a makeup. So, <laughs> but we'll probably talk about that video uh, today or tomorrow. I'll talk about that today or tomorrow. Because I feel that that is something, you know, also that should be getting out there. But like I say, these medicines, to me, they're working. There are alternative ways. which We'll probably talk about that along with the um, other medicines that they have. With like the uh, post-exposure phylaxis and the pre-exposure phylaxis. Um, we'll talk about that tomorrow. I'm not going to get into that. I really wanted to talk about this because, you know, there are medicines out there for those of you that think that, you know, there is no help for you. There is, you know, nothing that can be done. There is no cure. Just like for cancer, there is no cure. Cancer patients have to go through chemotherapy, radiation therapy. They have to take medicines themselves because there is no cure. Just like for Alzheimer's disease, there is no cure. But this is also one of those things that there is no cure. But there are medicines out there that are helping. Those medicines are working. I mean, like I say, since I've been taking them for the past 30 days, it's been a very big change in my body. I feel better. Um, like I say, the spots, if I, would have, if, if I would have started this a while ago, but if I would have did a video and I would have showed that they were very apparent. And right now my hands look like what I, what I was used to my hands looking like. That they were very deep and apparent on my arm. And from my understanding, you know, those were like lesions growing under the skin or whatever. Either way it go, I'm noticing that those are clearing up. It was all even on my foot. Um, and I mean, I'm not going to say I have the prettiest feet in the world. I mean, I, I'm a dancer. And if you are a dancer, you know, dancers' feet, we have the ugliest feet ever. <laughs> but, I mean, it was all over to the point that I was even ashamed to walk around and flip, excuse me, and flip flops and everything else. But things are getting better. My medicine work, once again, is called Stribal. I'm trying to hold this in the camera correctly. Stribal, you know, if you want to look up information on it, I'm going to put links in the description about all these other different type of medicines. But let's just talk about before I conclude this video, the one in particular that I am taking. Now, as I mentioned, one of the medicines that is uh, in Stribal is ten Tenavir. Tenavir is a nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor um it stops hiv from making copies it stops it from you know just like how when you get infected or get a cold or something that cold virus start to make copies of itself inside your body that's why the cold lasts so long especially if you're not taking medicine um it's a inhibitor it helps stops it that also goes to say with the intramycin. Um, it also helps block, reverse the uh, transcriptase of the enzymes that HIV needs to make copies of itself. So basically, it's stopping the virus from producing even more, even faster in your virus, or even cutting it off completely. Um, you know, so I'm looking forward to seeing and hearing some good news when I go to the doctor on, on Friday. Um, but another one of the medicines that are in here was Cobastat. Uh, I had to scroll through my notes because I just, I had a lot of things wrote down. I had a lot, a lot of things wrote down. Here it is. The Cobastat. 
Um, the COVID stat is one of those combination of medicines. It's, it's, what, it's a combination of HIV medicines containing the two or more what I'm taking. I'm trying to scroll through to see where I wrote it down, if I wrote it or if I typed it up. Um, I probably did not. Here it is, right here. COVID stat. Um, this medicine is a pharmacokinetic enhancer used to increase the effectiveness of the l -tugravir. The l is also a HIV medicine that is a integrase inhibitor. Um, what that medicine does, I have to find my, I have to scroll through there and find my notes again. Um, but what that medicine does is also helps slows down. It also helps, it's like a vitamin, helps boost up the CD4 cells. Uh, let me uh, put it like that. It helps boost up the CD4 cell. It increases HIV in inhibitors, block HIV integrase and enzymes. That helps it make copies of itself as well. Um, I've been very impressed with the medicine so far. I mean, it does cause this nausea, and it cause, does give me a little antiacid, but I mean, I am a 24-year-old and like a 65-year-old body, so antiacid, heartburn, <laughs> I'm not used to it. But um, yeah, the medicines, is there are a lot of good medicines out here. There are a lot of medicines that are working. Mine in particular, I believe that it's working. Um, just in conversation with other people that I've had been talking to at the clinic, they say that it's been working for them and they've been on it for years. And, you know, they're going up for at least for, you know, a couple of years since they started it. And, you know, it's been working. So, you know, I take the trust of them and also my faith in God and in the faith in this medicine, more so my faith in God, that everything is working out. So, with that being said, I'm going to conclude the video for today. Um, I really wanted to talk about the medicines because there, I, I just want people out there to know that you can get help, that there are treatments available to you. The antiretroviral treatment is the best treatment. And if you are diagnosed, have been newly diagnosed, you are not alone in this. You know, like I say, feel free to email me questions or comments at Mr. Isaac Joseph at hotmail.com. That's Mr. Dot Isaac Joseph at hotmail.com. Or you can always find me on Facebook at Easy at Easy Joseph I S S Y Joseph or on Instagram at Izzy underscore Joseph. You know, I'm here to talk. Um, you know, I'm even open to giving my number. I'm just not gonna put my number out here on these videos. I don't need everybody named mama calling me. But I mean, if you just need someone to talk to, I want to know more. I just need, you want to confide in someone. I am here for you all across the world, all across Houston, all across the state of Texas and the United States. You know, just to let you know, you know, things are going to be okay. I feel fine. I actually have never felt in the past year. I've Never felt any better than what I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to conclude the video today. I hope you guys are getting a lot of information. I hope you guys are getting the information or getting the facts. I hope you guys are sharing this video. Have a happy, happy, happy rest of Wednesday. It's hump day. <sighs> the hardest day of the week. But thank God I am off. <laughs> I can uh, focus on other things that I needed to be focusing on today. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I will see you guys uh, later. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Peace out. Bye, love bucks.